guys, welcome back. Time is 10:14, and of course, you know yeah. what that means. Drum roll. <laughs> Lights, camera, McCarthy. Yeah, yeah. What do you got for us tonight? Weirdly, that's how Zendaya greets me too when I walk into uh, yeah. the room for an interview. She no. gives you a drum roll too. No, Everybody but she does. <laughs> she is amazing. That's um, why Kevin comes back because yeah. I give him a drum roll. Well, I, love, I, I love you guys very much. The colors are amazing oh, today. Oh, this is my favorite suit. I'm, I'm <laughs> digging this. Yeah, you told me this was my color. Yeah, yeah. it is. It so is. Every time I put this suit nice. on now, I'm like, Makia said this is my color. So. <laughs> Cute. All right, so Challengers is a brand new movie uh, yes. in theaters this Friday. This is one of the, my favorite films of the year. This is uh, this is a filmmaker named Luca who directed films like Call Me By Your Name, uh, and I love this movie. So the cast is incredible. You have Zendaya, uh, Mike Feist. You also have Josh O'Connor, who you might know from The Crown. He won an Emmy. Um, brilliant performer. But this is a this is a tennis film about a love yeah. triangle, and basically Zendaya's character is a tennis star who gets injured. She meets these these two guys who are also tennis stars, and there's a love triangle that takes place because they both are in love with her and she kind of manipulates them in a way and tries to coach them but the emotional aspect of the movie is really a centerpiece but it's scored by the brilliant Trent Reznor and, Rez and Atticus Ross. Trent Reznor you know from Nine Inch Nails. He does the music for the film. So I spoke to Zendaya and the cast all about Zendaya being a producer on the movie, her role behind the scenes and in the movie itself and also a really fun thing about how we don't ask for people's phone numbers anymore. We just ask them for their social medias. Take a look. <laughs> I should go. When my dad comes looking for me. I'll see you at school, Art. Wait, are you on Facebook? <laughs> what? He's asking for your number. And so am I. You both want my number? Very much so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not a homewrecker. We don't live together. It's an open relationship. Um, one, of, one of my favorite scenes in the whole film is like when we go back in the past and there's this idea of asking someone for their number. It's kind of a lost art, because initially I think <laughs> the character says like, are you on Facebook? He goes, no, he's asking for your phone number. When I was a kid, I used to write letters and say, will you go out with me, circle <laughs> yes, no, or maybe. Um, and I think it's a lost art form. And I wanted to ask you guys just as actors in general, but as people, like the idea of asking for people's numbers. I don't think it's really that a, a thing anymore, but also like, do you have stories when you were a kid of like being nervous to ask somebody for their phone number. I feel like right. that's kind of lost. I'm old enough that I didn't have a mobile phone. <laughs> like, there weren't mobile phones when I was at school. So you'd ask people out by leaving little notes in their lockers. <laughs> and then the worst one was, I didn't, I have to say, I didn't do this, but my, I've got a very good friend who did, which was breaking up with someone via another friend with a bar of chocolate to say something. <laughs> Hardcore. <laughs> no, I, yeah, it's like a different. You gotta get creative. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it's a different thing. I, I really, I still kind of astonishes me. I'm not that old, and like <laughs> How so quickly, much. Yeah. Is, isn't that kind of yeah. insane? Yeah. Like I remember the first. Mm -hmm. I remember having my first mobile phone and being thrilled. And it was like, that. I was thrilled because it was the smallest one of all my friends. And that was what the ambition was to have the smallest thing. <laughs> and it was about that big. And then, like, a year later, someone turned up with a camera on their phone. And I was like, <laughs> but You're it was, done. It was like the worst camp now. I mean, then it seemed like high tech, but it was the For worst. For me, it was a sidekick. Yeah, that camera. was all I wanted. Sidekick. 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 I like the Nokia brick, and I play Snake. Mm. Well, the Motorola Razor. Razor. Do you razor. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, I, Tashi has a Razor. I think the Reznor Ross score is a leading character in this film. Mm. And when we spoke for Dune 2, we talked a lot about your relationship to cinematography and yeah. Marcel Reb and Greg Fraser and all the DPs that you've worked with. And I want to expand on that to film score and the emotional response that you have as actors when you see your performances set to score, particularly the score. Mm. I'm wondering how it elevates the work that you did in your own mind about what mm. it brings out in the characters I mean, when you see it set to score. I would also like to shout out Sayambu because mm. he also, now I've been able to say that I've been able to work with him and he is so incredibly talented, as you, as you can see. Yeah. Um, but back to the music, I think I, I had the privilege of, of watching the film in earlier cuts before the music was put in. Um, and I still, I mean, it was still brilliant. You know, Luca had done a, a wonderful job and we had watched, uh, he kind of brought me into the edit a few times while we were shooting. Um, and I had no idea where he was gonna take it. And so I, I really was interested to see like where he was going to kind of direct um, the music, and uh, I was not prepared <laughs> for for what I what I got, but it was incredible and brilliant. I remember one time I was lucky to sit down with Baz Luhrmann to talk about Elvis, and we were mm -hmm. talking about the idea of sweat and hair continuity, and I think it's a really fascinating thing. He goes, "I have a whole department where they check people's hair to make sure that the hair is right and the sweat continuity is right." 
because you're going through different time periods and also the sweat and the hair has to be right when you cut back to the shot of the other person, as actors, what was that like to deal with sweat and hair continuity? There actually is one shot because me, I, I, I pride myself on the fact that like I try to keep my continuity the same. So it's like, oh, I put my hair behind my ear at this take. So I need to remember to, you know, and reset my hair. So I like, I try my best to, to oh, I moved that then. Or, you know, I try my best to do that. But there's one thing, and I'm not going to say it because I don't want people to, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But there's one take where my hair moves from behind my ear in front of my ear. And I'm like, oh. Do y'all notice that? I, I do. I definitely notice that. Yeah. yeah. I do. But hopefully other people don't. Yeah. Hopefully they're enjoying the performances. And Just you, us, and Basil Herman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to say congratulations to you. I love that Celine and Justin wrote a movie, kind of past lives in this, yeah. about yeah. love triangles. Love triangles, yeah. yeah. It really was remarkable. You guys should be very proud of the work you did in this Thank film. You so Thank you so much. Thank it's you. always wonderful to talk yeah. to you. Always wonderful to talk to you, too. Thank you. I love Zendaya. Zendaya is one of my favorite uh, people to talk to because she loves filmmaking. She's a producer on this movie. She, yeah. was, she was involved a lot behind the scenes. When we spoke for Dune 2, she talked about her love of filmmaking. Um, but that part at the end, do you ever notice stuff when you're watching movies, if someone puts down a glass on a table, yeah. then they cut to the next shot and the glass is gone, or yeah. the hair is different behind their yeah. ears or back, yeah. and she's very adamant. So apparently there's a scene in Challengers where her hair does not match the next shot, yeah. and she's like, I'm really embarrassed by my it. My dad always puts oh, wow. that out Yeah, let's see if you yeah. see it. Yeah. So Challengers hits theaters Friday. We'll have more from Zendaya and the cast coming up on DMV Zone today. Thanks, awesome. guys. Thank Looking you, guys. Awesome. Great interview, as always. Love you guys. Thank <laughs> you <all. laughs>